All right, we're here at Rick's Dessert Diner. This place is one of my favorite dessert spots in all of California. They've been around since 1986. But look how cool this is. Uh, they have a cool 1950s retro setup for decor and some of the best desserts. They've been in business for 38 years here in Sacktown. Got all these delicious cakes. You can buy them by the slice or for a special occasion. All you James Dean fans, from pastries to cakes. Yeah, I'll definitely get a slice of the German chocolate. Caramel Napoleon. Uh, I gotta get a cannoli, because yeah. cannolis are awesome. All right, we're here at Rick's Dessert Diner, and we had an order. We already have an order. We're gonna dig into this German chocolate cake. Three layers. Wow. This is my favorite dessert place. Uh, one of them in Cali. But anytime I'm in Sacktown, I have to go to Rick's Diner. Let's try it out. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. It's so moist. You can tell everything is made here from scratch. I mean. They've been here since 1986. That's 38 years in business. And since 1986, they've won best desserts in Sacramento every year. They just keep sweeping every dessert place out there. And it's a mandatory stop when I'm in Sacktown. Ooh, so we're gonna try the churro cake. This is a new cake they, that she recommended. She said it's very popular, so we're gonna try it out. All right, let's try out the churro cake. It's not as moist as I would like, but it's still solid. You know me, I'm a type of cannoli type of guy. I love my cannolis and everywhere I travel, I gotta get a cannoli. Where's the best cannolis? This is a pistachio cannoli. One of my favorite cannolis as well. I always got to order the pistachio cannoli. Look at that pistachio cannoli. Nice, cheers. Fabulous, wonderful, amazing. If I wasn't aware, if I wasn't health conscious, I'd probably eat 10 of these in the morning with coffee. They're that good. The shell is perfectly cooked. Nice sugary powder on it, but not heavily powdered. Oh, the ricotta inside, amazing. The Hilaire Napoleon. This is the number one top salad pastry here. Now I asked, I was like, why is it called Napoleon? Why does it call it Carmel Hilaire? She said, I don't know. And the gentleman said, because it's powerful, like Napoleon, the French, French general, who eventually got defeated by the Russians because he was evading in winter and lost. All right, that goes for that history lesson today. Let's get into this. Wow, look at that. I cut it in half. 
Now you just gotta you gotta use your hands on this one. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my gosh, this is, if I use the term hella good, this is hella good right here. Must try, you need to come check out Rick's desserts because they're fire.